the headline is really this. Gerald Butts, the disgraced Trudeau staffer and his best friend, went to a fancy New York consulting firm that just happened to get a sole source 200 grand contract. Yeah, I think I've seen this movie before. It's how the liberals do everything, especially Butts himself. You will recall that Gerald Butts, when he moved to Ottawa from Toronto, he billed taxpayers six figures just to move down the road, just to move down the highway from Toronto to Ottawa. He billed taxpayers six figures and then he tried to hide it. And it was only after it was revealed that he grudgingly paid back a small portion of it. I'm sorry, that, that's padding your expenses. That, that's a fraud thing or embezzlement. That's the firing offense in the real world. But in Trudeau land, the only thing they were mad at him for was that he got caught. I remind you, Butts personally signed off on Trudeau accepting the illegal gift of a vacation on the Aga Khan's billionaire island in the Bahamas. Butts was behind that too. And Butts tried to keep that secret too. That was illegal too, according to the ethics commissioner, but Butts wasn't fired for that, of course. Do you see a pattern here? Yes, you do. But Butts wasn't fired for his key role in the illegal misconduct for SNC Lavalin either. He was never fired for his role in bro breaking those laws. He resigned to take the heat off of Trudeau. But then he slinked back to work for the Liberals again. He's working for them now, as you know. Anyway, Sheila broke this news the other day, and it went huge online. Um, but only one other media outlet followed Sheila's scoop, uh, the Post Millennial. And uh, they basically just rewrote Sheila's news, copying it in some places, almost word for word, actually. Uh, but at least they gave Sheila credit for breaking the story. But look, like us, the post-millennial is an alternative media, and it's looked down on by the fancy parents at the media party. So the story was, so far, contained from the liberal point of view to the right wing. But then, Brett Wilson, the successful financier and former Dragon's Den star, well, he was furious about it. He tweeted his outrage. And, uh, in fact, he, he, was, he was outraged to the point of swearing, which he doesn't often do. Now, that's a that's a fancy guy, Brett Wilson. He's conservative, sure, but he's part of the jet set himself, uh, A-list kind of guy. He's someone that Gerald Butts obviously respects, or at least fears a little bit. So Butts just finally lost it. He, he, he went nuts a little bit. He said, it's a lie. This is a lie. You can see he's responding directly to Brett. It's a lie, and the lying lie was told by liars, and we're all liars. It's a right-wing echo chamber. Con consider this public notice, Brett. Now, I'm not sure what that last part means. No, notice for, for what, buddy? Do you mean like a, a defamation notice? Like a legal document? But what do you mean? Do you deny that the contract was given to the Eurasia Group? I, I mean, we, we showed the document. It, it came from the government's own website. You could find it yourself. You could watch Sheila's video. It's, it's there. And what, what exactly was he threatening? This is notice. Notice of what, buddy? Butts was so upset. He started making weird Threats all over the place. Look at this. He's threatening a former ambassador, Vivian Berkovici. It's just all the place. No, I mean, it's a flat out lie. Ah, the rebel. Ah, they, told, they haven't retracted. Ah, notice number two. No, notice what, what, what is this, like an auction? Uh, 25, 25, going once, going twice, twice, see $30 bid. Going once, going twice. Notice for what? I, 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 are you going to sue us for, for mentioning this? Are you going to sue us for mentioning the fact that shortly after you decamped Ottawa in disgrace for the Eurasia Group, a $200,000 sole source contract was sent over there? You're, you're going to sue us for telling people that? Sure you are, buddy. Just like you told Justin Trudeau to threaten to sue Andrew Scheer for criticizing you over the SNC-Lavalin scandal. You still haven't followed through on that lawsuit uh, because you'd lose and because you'd have to disclose all your internal memos and emails and other documents that you are currently hiding. So sue us for reporting on a fact that we got from a government website. Oh, please don't throw me into the briar patch. Please don't do that. Now, Butts was clearly coordinating his response with his friends at the Eurasia Group because we received this email from them. It was written by Irina Oyama, and the subject line was correction requested. They said, hello, 
This is a request to correct the record regarding yesterday's article about Gerald Butts, Eurasia Group, and Natural Resources Canada. Natural Resources Canada has been a Eurasia Group client since 2017, and Gerald Butts has not been involved in that relationship at any stage. Eurasia Group is an independent, nonpartisan research firm that employs senior advisors from across the political spectrum and has worked with global investors, multinational corporations and governments, including Canada, since 1998. In short, the basis of this article is inaccurate, and we ask you to please retract it accordingly. Irina Oyama, Director of Communications, Eurasia Group, 149 5th Ave, 15th Floor, New York. Um, okay, uh, so, so what, what was the error that, that needs correcting? I mean, you saw Sheila's video. She said they got a sole source contract for about 150 US, which is about 200 Canadian. So, so we have the primary document, like we, we, have, we have a copy of it, right? Um, are, are they saying that's not true? Now, now we, we know it's true, we all know it's true. We got it from the government website. You, dear viewer, can go to the government website and get it. And they, they, they didn't deny it was true. They didn't say it was like a forgery or something. That would be weird. Uh, in fact, they, they told us something that we didn't know, that was pretty incredible. They said, this isn't their first payment from the Liberals. They, they told us, I think by accident, that they've been getting contracts from Trudeau. Did you catch that part? Um, since 2017. I, I think that's what's called an unforced error. They just sort of blurted that out. They, they, they told us more of what they're doing, something we didn't know. We didn't know that. At least I didn't. But they literally told us about more scandals, that not only did they get a sole source contract about global warming or whatever once Butts went to work for them, but they got a contract before when Butts was still working for Trudeau. So in 2017, Butts and Trudeau approve a contract to this New York lobby group that hates oil. I mean, who knows? We're, we're trying to find out more details about it. I hope they'll tell us. It's for 200 grand. Well, actually, the new one was for 200 grand. What was the 2017 one? Hundreds of thousands? <laughs> Millions? Who knows? With these drunken sailors, the way they spend money. So, Butts hires a Eurasia group back in 2017. They get paid in 2017 from taxpayer money. Then Butts resigns in disgrace and gets a soft landing at that same Eurasia group. And then, surprise, they get a sole source payment from Justin Trudeau after that. Yeah, no wonder Butts is freaking out at Sheila's report. This wasn't supposed to come out until after the election. Who released that contract? They're fired. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day, I do a video monologue, and then I interview an interesting guest, and then I end by reading my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.